Hello, this is Yaakov Fein. Welcome to lesson number six. We are reading chapter two of the book TypeScript Quickly. This time is a section Union Types. In TypeScript, you can declare your own custom types as you wish. For example, you can create a union type, union combining more than one type. You can declare a class. You can declare an interface. There is a keyword type mm, in the TypeScript. You can use uh, enumeration. So all these are different tools that you have for declaring types. Let's talk about union type. Union is uh, union allows you to combine more than one type into one, a new one. For example, I declared a variable over here padding and I say that this variable can be of type string or number. We create a union of a string or number. These are the types that are allowed to be assigned to the variable padding in this case. Why do we need to bother with unions? What are the benefits? Let's identify the problem. And the question that you may ask yourself, do I even need to do this to so say that the padding variable can be either a string or a number? Why not just, just specify any or not type at all like we do in an old, uh, old and true and familiar JavaScript? Let's, let's look at the problem, first of all. Uh, first of all, I want to show you a little function that has a uh, na name pad left. We want to pad a string, provide a string from the left. And we want to be able to pad either with a number of spaces, if a number is provided as an argument, or with a specific string, if a string is provided as an argument. And let's take a look at this function. First version, not a good uh, solution, but it'll work. Function pod left, I, it's supposed to, it, it is taking first argument as a string, and the second argument as, uh, I mean, what do you want to pad? And second argument, with what do you want to pad? The padding itself, type any, and it returns a string. Um, so far, no crime, actually. Let me, by the way, let me copy this code into the playground and let's see what happened there. So, so far, so good. I don't see any errors in here. So why I don't like this function? Let's see. Uh, I am saying over here, the first statement, if the type of provided padding parameter is number, then what I do, I just append from the left-hand side the number of mm, spaces based on the value, like number four, for example, four, four spaces. If the type of the padding is string, I just can concatenate padding and the provided value. If they would give me anything else other than a string or a number, I am throwing an error saying, dear friend, I'm expecting a string or a number, and I got this. So this this actually got supposed to work, right? Let me call it, let me call it uh, pad left, right? And what do we want to, what do we want to provide? See, it helps me, TypeScript helps. You're getting used to it, right? You're getting enjoy it. You're starting taking it for granted. How did I live before without this help? All right, so I want to take, I want to take a pass a string, hello, and I want to pad it with the uh, four spaces. Fine, it'll work. Now let me open up the command line tool down there. Let me clean it and run this beautiful code. And, oh, it doesn't, man, it doesn't print. I don't have console login there, so I have to do it over here. 
uh, can so see is this function doesn't is just returns the value just like this let's do it like this all right run run baby run as you can see we have four spaces over here to the left of the hello now let me invoke this function differently let me invoke this function with the string and uh, what do we what do we put there uh, let's say Yaakov says that's what I want to use as a left padding a string now let me run it Yaakov says hello all right great so the function works right let me try to invoke this function with the invalid uh, parameter with invalid value true right run error error is wrong expected string or number got true all right we understand so we created a situation with the runtime error it's a bug it's a bug now let's see how can we fix it instead of any which in general is a bad idea over here we can specify uh, that the you can provide me a padding we can specify a union type right we can specify uh, what uh, string or number obviously i could have um, declared a variable that would be this would be a new type for me but for now let's do it this way so take a look instead of any it used to be any over here i say string or number and typescript helped me helps me immediately it tells me what are you doing you cannot you don't even think of invoking this function with a value of true this function can be invoked only with a string or a number see right away it prevents me from doing uh, from making this mistake moreover i don't even need to throw an error anymore over here i can delete this line completely why do I need to throw an error if this runtime error is not even possible? During compile time, I won't let anybody, any bad guy, to do this. It doesn't like something over here. Function likes ending return statement and return type doesn't include undefined. Uh, all right, so let's let's say a string. Let me let me say just shut down, undefined. All right. No. Okay. So, no, it still doesn't like something. Not all code paths return the value. Well, well, again, the same, the same problem. We are running into the same problem again. For the purpose of this discussion, it's not that important. Uh, a return. Return what? Uh, what do we return? Uh, wrong type of uh, padding something like this right now now the signature is fine but this is obviously an error so you got you got the feeling you understand why the union helps Mo uh, when you create a union you can declare it as a separate type let's say this would be a very important type I would create I would use a variable type I want to define a new type and I would define a, a mm, padding type a new type that didn't exist before and I would as assign to it a value string or number so I introduce a new type right after that I can actually let me let me do capital P and after that I can use this new type again it's a union type somewhere else in the code see the same thing it'll work the same way hello Uh, John says hello right run John says hello so we, tr we introduce a new type in this example I was using the keyword type which is used in TypeScript for creating alias types or declaring custom types in this case I created a new type that I called padding type and I can use it everywhere in the program if need be so this was an example, your first acquaintance, so to speak, with unions. We will use unions uh, some, 
sometime later in, in uh, this book as well. Uh, but meantime, I want to, to pay your attention to one little sidebar in this chapter. There is something called type guards in um, type guards in TypeScript, and in this uh, function, I was using the type guard called type type off, which is used with primitive types in TypeScript. But if you wanted, if you would introduce a new type, for example, customer user or something like this, using a class or maybe an interface or maybe a type, then you'd be using another type guard called instance of. If you would be, actually, see, I made a mistake. If you'd be using an interface, uh, this wouldn't be something that you could instantiate, right? So uh, let me take it back. If you would create an object with a constructor and you could instantiate it, then you could have used instance of type guard. So once again, a type of is used with primitives, and instance of is used with objects that can be instantiated. That concludes lesson number six. Thank you for watching.